Our mission today is one of critical importance. Find the best pierogi in Poznan, Poland. In order to complete this mission, we'll need to selflessly sacrifice our stomachs in pursuit of a pierogi that is so delicious, it puts all other pierogi to shame. Fear not, my fellow YouTube watcher, because we take this challenge very seriously. This is us trying a Ruski pierogi. This is us trying a Lublin pierogi. We even tried a pumpkin and cottage cheese pierogi. So what's the final verdict? Watch until the end to find out which pierogi will go down in history as the most delicious pierogi in Poznan, Poland. Hey guys, and welcome to Poznan, Poland. Today we're going to be trying some of Poland's most iconic foods, the pierogi. Ooh. And I am so excited for this video, you guys. I absolutely love pierogies. And when I found out we were coming here to Poland, I absolutely begged Gab <laughs> to make this video. So today's gonna be a great day. We haven't eaten anything today, so we've got tons of room to try all the different types of pierogies that there are. I am super excited and hungry, so we are ready to get started. We're heading to our first place now. Okay, so we're starting our pierogi tour with the classic. It's called the Ruski pierogi. And most people think that it's actually a Russian pierogi, but it's not. It's actually named after the region of Poland that it originates from. And we ordered it with sour cream, which is the typical side. So it'll be good to start our tour out with kind of like the basic one, the most popular one. It should be coming out shortly, and we'll let you know how it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah, it's got all the goodies inside. And I love that they serve you a little bit of sprouts. Dip it in sour cream, of course. And here we go. Wow, oh my God. We had pierogies a couple times when we were in Wrocław. And these blow those out of the water. These are some really good pierogies. I'm just having a hard time thinking about what we could possibly try today. That's better than this. Oh my god. We've got to try this here. Mmm. Wow. I was thinking the Ruskies would be kind of a baseline. Like, is it better or worse than the traditional? But man, those set the bar high. Yeah. This is so good. What do we have here, honey? They brought us out vodka on the house. It's some sort of a Polish specialty. I think it's vodka brilled with some sort of fruit in it. I, I'm not entirely sure, but it smells really good, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Nostravi. Nostravi. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's dangerously good. It doesn't even taste like alcohol is in it. No, that was delicious. Yum. I want more. <laughs> How about we go get more pierogies instead? Okay, more pierogies. <laughs> the next place we're heading to is actually just some spot we randomly walked by, but it looked really, really good. So we're heading back there now, and we'll continue stuffing our faces with pierogies when we get there. More pierogies! <laughs> Best day of my life. <laughs> That place was like really, really slammed. They were so backed up. It was a 20 or 30 minute wait just to get the pierogies. So we're gonna head to another spot. But it was such a bummer because that place looked really cool. They were making the pierogies fresh on the counter in front of everyone. I was like mesmerized by how fast that lady was just able to like grab a scoop of meat, put it into the dough and then like pinch it closed. Um, but I'm glad we got to see how they were made. But we've got another place we're going to that is supposed to be really good. So while I was waiting in line, I was kind of observing what they're up to back there, and it's really quite the operation they have going on. So they have one lady that's taking orders, and she's taking call-in orders and walk-in orders, 
then there's two ladies that are doing nothing but kneading the pierogies and making them. And then there is a fourth lady who's attending to like five pots of water that are boiling simultaneously. So those four are just churning them out back there. It's really cool to watch. Okay, so since we already tried the classic Ruski pierogi, we wanted to switch it up a little bit and get a bit of a variety here. So the first one that we ordered is called a Misna, which is another kind of classic one, and it's got pork, chicken, and turkey in it, so lots of meat. The second one that we got is called the Poznanski, which I guess was named after this city, and that one has roasted duck with apples in it. I'm excited for that one. It might be weird, but it'll be good. And then the third one we wanted to do was a sweeter one, and so that one has pumpkin, cottage cheese, and cinnamon in it. And that's another one that's a little unusual that I'm excited for. They all sound so good. I know. They should be done soon. This place is a little busy. I mean, you should see these ladies just churning the pierogies out, but um, hopefully our food's ready soon and we can try more pierogies. Okay, do we know which are which? Nope, there's no distinction on which ones are which. I guess we'll bite in and figure it out. All right, I'm gonna try this one right here. I don't know what I'm trying yet, so I'm gonna cut into it and see. Ooh, this is definitely the meat That's one. That's right totally there. the meat one. This one could actually. It kind of reminds me of like a pulled pork pierogi, but without barbecue sauce. It's actually real tasty. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one, which looks pretty orange, so I have to guess it's the pumpkin and cottage cheese one. Maybe that's pumpkin? It almost looks I, like egg. I don't know, maybe that's the cottage cheese. Oh my god. Does it taste like pumpkin pie? Better because I don't like pumpkin pie. <laughs> but wow, definitely the pumpkin cottage cheese with cinnamon one. It is really, really good. It's not too sweet. It definitely has like a rich kind of texture to it. Um, but wow, like the aftertaste in my mouth is wonderful. Okay, duck and apple. Here we go. Full disclosure, I don't think I've ever had duck meat before. It's weird. I think I like the um, pumpkin one better. That one's just kind of like gamey for sure, yeah. It's still really good. It's just, yeah, I like the other one better. Could you taste the apples? No, I like doubt there's apples in there. It's okay. just like all duck to me, to be honest. You wanna try it? Yeah. Hmm. It's not the best one, huh? It's weird. I mean, it's not bad. It's just weird. We're heading to the third stop of our pierogi tour now. That last place was really good, very busy, but it couldn't dethrone the Ruski from the first one. So I think my rankings are the Ruski is the top, and then that delicious little pumpkin one, and then the classic meat, and then the duck. I concur. So, at the next place, we'll see if the Ruski can be dethroned, or if it remains king. We are walking to the next spot now. We should be there in a couple minutes. We're right in the main square here in Poztan, which is called Starry Rynek. And uh, let's go eat some more pierogies. We thought it would be easy to find more pierogies to eat, but it proved to be way more of a challenge than we expected. We went to at least five or six restaurants in the main square, and none of them had any pierogies on their menu. I can't believe how many places we just checked in the square and none of them have pierogies. We continued our hunt for pierogies at a milk bar, but even they were sold out. I can't believe they're out of pierogies. I mean, how do you run out of pierogies in Poland? <laughs> I feel like we are working against the powers that be today. They don't want us to have pierogies, but we're gonna keep going. We were beginning to think our pierogi tour might be cursed. It was Friday the 13th, but was it really such a chaotic day that Poznan had run out of pierogies? After what felt like an eternity of searching, our luck finally changed. Pierogies! Even the place that does have pierogies is like behind a construction zone. Mm, very interesting. They're hiding from us. Yes, a beacon of light. So we ordered a plate of Lublin style pierogies, which is a mix of like bacon and mints and onions and buckwheat that it's just supposed to be like a really interesting style of pierogies. But then we also got a sweet one that's filled with cherries and that comes with a little side of cream. 
So it'll be great to try another sweet one. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to try the loved one ones. I like trying these interesting combinations. I'm just happy we found any place that serves pierogies. I was beginning to think that the city was all sold out of pierogies. And I was getting really sad and desperate and then we came across this place. So, feeling pretty happy about it. These are kind of your more sweeter dessert pierogies. They've got cherry inside and then a creamy sauce on top. And next up we have these, which are the Lublin style ones that have kind of those interesting ingredients that Jack talked about. And they hail from the Lublin region of Poland. So I say we try these first and the dessert ones second. Fun. You definitely taste the buckwheat as like the main ingredient and in it. it's yummy, like it's a good combination of ingredients. It's just unusual. Do you taste the mint? Yeah, in the aftertaste. Really? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's good. Wow. I like it. Ooh. Ooh, that might be the new favorite. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That one is so good. <laughs> number one. That's right number there. one? Try with the cream. Oh my god. Forget about it. Delicious. I can't believe it's the last one already. It's just so beautiful. Well, after eating six different kinds of pierogies, I have to say, I think the Ruski was my favorite. It's just, it's a classic, it's an institution, you don't mess with the original, so <laughs> I really, really like that one, and I think that's the one to beat. For me, my favorite was that cherry and cream one. I like pushing the boundaries. I like it when you just try and improve upon what's already been perfected, so that one was really good for me. I loved how tart the cherries were and how like the color of the cherries exploded onto the plate whenever you cut into it. It was just so good. I'm very proud of us for trying six different pierogies over the course of a couple hours. I know, and we persevered too. Sometimes it was a little hard to find a place that had pierogies, <laughs> but it was worth the hunt because they were all delicious. The only one I wish that we tried that we didn't was the baked kind because I think everything we had was boiled and they also do some of them oven baked which would have been nice to try too. Yeah, for sure. But you guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop us a comment, make sure you like this video, and we'll see you guys next time in Warsaw. Bye.